Okay, hi everyone, just want to say uh, kind of a thanks to everyone who's donated to the charity stuff which I'm doing because I'm, I'm very close to going off to do the challenge which is the West Highland Way which is the around about 100 mile walk um, from just above Glasgow to somewhere high up in Scotland. Um, each day is about a 20 mile kind of walk that I'm doing. So anyway, what I was going to say is like, what camera am I going to take with me? Is it going to be the D700? Is it going to be my Canon 5D Mark II so they can video at the same time? Maybe the Canon 550D or or maybe just like my Fuji S5 Pro so I can get a great dynamic range without having to do a whole pile of photos. And I've been thinking about it, which camera, which camera, which camera it is. And a wee while ago, I did a practice walk. I did like a, a 30 kilometre walk one day and my back was killing me after doing it. And I thought of doing that distance with a camera as well, I'm thinking, stuff that. But I'm not going to go without a camera. So what I've decided is that this walk that I'm doing is a, is a mission, it's a program, you know, I'm going from one place to another, I'm not really wanting to slow down and take lots and lots of landscape photos, nature photos, animal bugs, plants, seascapes, all that kind of stuff. Now, this is a challenge to do rather than a challenge to go and take photos with. So the camera I'm going to take with me is actually going to be the GoPro. The GoPro Hero 2 which does videos and it does 11 megapixel images as well, all kind of fisheye. But I reckon this is light enough for me to not really be going, oh my god it's so heavy I can't do it. And with this I'll be able to take photos and videos, HD videos and audio as well. And what I can consider this as is this walk which I'll be doing the West Highland Way. You can pretty much drive it all as well. So this will be documenting great places and great sights and great angles and good lighting that I can potentially see that then later on in the year when I think, ah, this is a good weather day, because I think it could be raining the whole time in there. Or like a good weather day, I could drive there with the proper camera set up with the uh, neutral density filters, with the tripods, with the, you know, all that kind of stuff, and then get proper pro photos. So, so my little tip here would be is that if you're going anywhere, don't expect to come back always with amazing photos. Um, but what to do is think about wherever you go somewhere, to think about, right, I really need to figure out this location so that when I come back, I know which angles, which positions, which bits I think are the best. For example, a wee while ago I went to Northern Ireland, did a big drive around that, uh, beautiful, and I was taking loads and loads of photos. And yet when I come back and I see the poster, I was like, oh, I didn't see it from that angle, and I didn't see certain bits from certain angles because I was so busy taking photos from the first angle which I saw, which was good. And it's actually, sometimes the better angles are where you don't go whenever you're carrying a whole pile of rucksack, camera, flash, lens, and all that kind of crap in your back. So, I would say any location you go to, scout it out first, and scout it out from all the locations you can get to without having to carry heavy stuff. And then that means that whenever you do go there, you just go to the best location with all the heavy gear without fanning around trying to find new places places to shoot. So yeah, that was my little tip, and also a little thank you for all of you who have donated to the charity, uh, where the link is still down below. Cheers, bye-bye. <laughs>